Warrant Officer Mpumzing Gamlana told the court Midomosia was in excruciating pain when he was brought to the cells. I could see that uh, he could not uh, walk on his own because I could see that uh, his uh, legs were bent and they were uh, dragging on the ground. Gamlana described how, despite his injuries, Marcia was further assaulted. What I've heard is uh, the hit uh, with an open hand. He was being pushed to go and sit down on a bench. He also said he heard Marcia speaking. He was complaining. And he was also complaining about his head, that it is hot. And I also noticed that he had been, he is injured. Because he was bleeding from the head. The cell commander revealed how police ignored his calls for Marcia to receive assistance from a clinic which was not far from the police station. He also described how he tried to free Marcia from his handcuffs. We ended up finding an item, sort of a plier. It was then that we were able to loosen the handcuffs because they had already been bent. Ngamlana says he then noticed Marcia had fallen from the cell bench and was lying on the floor. The court heard other staff members called an ambulance, but it arrived about three hours later. That time, Gemanjo was straight out. Until a time came when they informed us that uh, this person is no more alive. It's the first details to emerge about the state that Mido Marcia was in when he was brought to police cells. While well, the dragging earlier had made international headlines and the cross-examination of Mpumzing Gamlana will begin on Thursday. Chris Alder Lewis, SABC News at the North Gauteng High Court.